Já viu o rico namorar pobre? Hello everybody, my name is Mohamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. On my Instagram you guys have been asking me to upload a house tour and I have an apartment so this is an apartment tour. While I was shopping for my apartment, I was definitely on a budget and so I'm kind of going to show you guys how I decorated my apartment. I still love it and yeah I was on a very tight budget so this is kind of how I did it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys my apartment. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will try to link everything I can below Although not everything is online anymore. I'll tell you to subscribe, but I don't really have videos up yet So if you want to like wait for me to upload a video, maybe the next 20 years then go ahead and subscribe because Yeah, you'll definitely not want to miss that one All right, here's my apartment tour Here's the entrance to our apartment First thing you see is the kitchen, which is my favorite spot of the house. And then here is a tile painting that my aunt had got us from Turkey. And then here is a painting that Yasmina, my friend from Atlanta, she made for us for a wedding. And then here is a table that kind of just has a spot you can throw keys, wallets, so, like whatever it is, coins, business cards. And then you head straight to the kitchen. Um, this is pretty much my favorite thing about the house is that the kitchen's open to the living room, so there's no walls, there's nothing separating them. Uh, makes cooking funner when it's kind of like not secluded. So here is our fridge, of course, with our Kai uh, magnet. Ryan insisted on putting on here. Our in-laws got it when uh, they went to Turkey. And then here's our stove with, I put wooden spoons here and these, and then paper towels. And then here I put kind of everything else, easily accessible. So the thing about me and Ryan is that he likes everything out and open to use and I like kind of things put away and organized. So I do like it to be practical. So what we did compromise on was buying these salt and pepper holders from Target. Um, we, we kind of just sprinkle it over while we're cooking. Here's a spoon rester I got from Home Goods. This as well I got from Target. It's part of this set, but I put these on it. This I got from Amazon. Um, and I'll link it below. Here is, yeah, I put olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and vegetable oil, and I kinda got the idea for my in-laws house because they have it right next to their stove, so it's so easy to just cook with it or use for salad. And then um, here I put all the other you know, utensils we use. And then here we have the like three oldest lemons in the house, so we wanna use these three lemons before we use the lemons that are in that bowl, uh, just to make sure they don't go bad. And then some more knives, flour, rice, and sugar. And then here in the cabinet we have the Ninja, which I use all the time. I use it as a blender for smoothies or for doughs or chopping up whatever it is. And then here as well I have bowls up here. I love these bowls because they're so unique. And they're handmade in Turkey, but I bought them from Home Goods. So there's a, um, I have this size and then I have a long version of it right here. And then I have a bigger version right here of it. So it was really, really cute. And then um, these bowls as well I got from Home Goods. Here is our utensil drawer. So I bought this thing from Bed Bath & Beyond. A lot of these things are from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then here are my utensils, knives, you know, measuring cups, and lemon squeezer. My pots and pans I have assorted down here. Here is my pantry. Next is my sink, which I love so much, surprisingly, but it's just the fact that it doesn't have that barrier in the middle. It really makes uh, doing dishes a lot easier, so I love that part. Uh, tea kettle from Izdihar. She got it from Amazon, I'll link that as well. Um, here is a toaster, and we got these from Goodwill for like a dollar each. I got this from Turkey as well, and then this is from my mother's house. I love so much. Um, and then here is pretty much our cabinet with our Smaller cups, bigger cups, bowls, plates, and mugs. Here is this dishwasher that we never use. It's pretty much been, it's been a year since I've lived here and I've probably used it around five or six times. Um, and that's pretty much when we have a lot of people over. Other than that, it's not enough dishes to fill it up because it's just me and Ryan. And then, yeah, this is our stove area like I showed you guys. Here is our spice cabinet. Reem recommended getting this. It's called Spicy Shelf, so it kind of organizes all your spices. 
easier. And then this area right here is our island slash dining room table. So we don't actually have a dining room table. We just decided to make more room in the house. We're just gonna keep this as a dining room table. I got these um, from Target as well, and they actually match perfectly with the floor, and then the gray match perfectly with the countertops. Um, I was really lucky to get that match. But, um, so yeah, this is pretty much where we cook as well as eat on. And then here's just a bowl with like our fruits and vegetables that we need to use that are can be out of the fridge. So I also love flowers, but it's hard to keep up with fresh flowers, so this is what I used to replace it. This is from Home Goods. It looks really natural. So yeah, that's pretty much our kitchen. I love these light fixtures. This all came with the apartment, like the backsplash, the cabinets, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yes, next is my living room. So this is also where I spend most of my time. Um, here is a chair I brought from Atlanta, but me and my aunts built it. Uh, it's from Ikea, actually. And then I got this from American Signature Furniture while I bought the couch. We got a discount if we spent over a certain amount, so I just ended up buying that. Here is a TV stand that I bought from Walmart, and I actually like assembled it myself. And here's a TV that we got from Hamza and Dazan. They lended us their old TV. They gave it to us, actually, and we're grateful for that. So yeah, that works great. And then this is, these are flowers that I bought for my old graduation party, like from high school, and then this is from my mom's house. So when I moved here, my mom pretty much just gave me a bunch of her like designs that I liked and like decorations. And um, yeah, I just kind of put it all around the house. Here is also, I think I got this from an antique store, and all the rocks inside are all from different places I've traveled, and all the shells, they're all from different places I've traveled from around the world. That is a gift I got from Turkey, and then here's a rock I got from Home Goods as well as this is from Home Goods. I'm obsessed with rocks and like marble and all that. Here is a basket I also got from Home Goods, and it uh, it just holds my blankets that like the throws that I have for my couch. I just throw them in there. Here is our couch that we got from American Signature Furniture on Black Friday, so we're able to get it on sale as well as finally find the comfort we wanted and the material that we wanted. So. Here it is. Here is a tree I got from Marshalls that I love because I'm trying to find more greenery to put in the house. And then this lamp I brought from Atlanta. I don't know where my mom got it from. Uh, I think I got that from some antique shop in Panama City. And then um, here, this I got from Home Goods. These crystals are from my mother's house. And then these rocks, I think I got those from Home Goods. All the other rocks that don't look that amazing are from my travels. So all of these are from places I've traveled to. Those are from Spain. The ones under are from Morocco and Spain, as well as Turkey um, in different parts of the world. Here are cup holders or coasters that I got from Home Goods as well. Or were these from Bed, Bed Bath and Beyond? I'm not sure. Um, and then these, I think I got from Ikea, filled up those rocks. And I don't have a picture of me and Ryan in this frame because I've been so lazy and I haven't found one good picture that I want to put in there. I uh, haven't decided yet. So one day I will put that picture of me and Ryan in there. Um, and then I love also this thing as well. You can kind of just put whatever you want in there. I currently don't have anything in there, but um, that was from Home Goods as well. The table itself is from Target. Um, this came in a set with this one. I mean, I bought them separately, but they're the same type of table. Um, so I bought those from Target. And this is everyone's favorite spot in the house. It's from Tufts and Needle, and it's literally the most comfortable, like, pouch ever. Like, it's not, I can't even call it a beanbag. Like, this thing is so, so, so comfortable to sleep on, to do, like, literally, like, study on it, like, everything so it's amazing and yes I think that is it for my living room which is pretty much my house is my living room and my kitchen um, actually there's here there's this table my, so this table is from Ikea the top of it and then the bottom of it is from Egypt um, this rock I got from Morocco from my recent travel there I love it so much it's so cute 
and these coasters are from Bed Bath & Beyond and then that plant is from Marshalls. This mirror I am obsessed with. I got this from um, Home Goods. I saw it and I'm like, I cannot leave without buying this. It's so adorable, I love it so much. So a couple things here, I got these coasters from my grandma's house and then these are also from Bed Bath & Beyond. I got three of them. And then here, my dad got me this from Turkey. It's a Tola table, which is like bad gammon, I believe. So it's like also a decoration as well as like, you know, a game. But it's, re it's really nice. It's handmade from Turkey. Um, and then here's a bowl that I really, really like. I got this from Home Goods as well. It's really cute. I usually have chocolate inside all of these, but currently I don't. Um, these two, I actually got these from Goodwill as well for like a dollar. I love putting like nuts or chocolate in them as well. Um, and then here are two uh, coffee table books that are from Restoration Hardware, which of course are the best coffee table books. And um, yeah, those, that's what I have for now. So this is pretty much me being on a budget and be trying to make everything look cute by like buying stuff that was cheap. That was like six dollars. Those two glass things were like a dollar or two each. Those were free for my grandma's. These were like maybe a little less than $10. This tray I got from uh, Dadia, my friend. She got it for me from Crate and Barrel. I love it so much. I've been wanting a tray like this for so long. These rocks as well I got from Spain and Morocco. And then these candles I loved. I bought them before I bought the house. So before I saw this apartment, I was like, I need these candles. They're from Home Goods as well and um, pretty much you just throw in those little candles inside and then turn them on and it's perfect for nighttime. It really gives a nice glow to the house. By the way, this is our Apple TV, which I literally can't live without. Me and Ryan don't have cable because we don't really watch TV that much, but when we do, it's pretty much Netflix, so this thing is a lifesaver for sure. Here in the TV console, we have games. So we have Roomy Cup, which is my favorite categories. Code names is so fun. Uh, pack of cards, you know, bananagrams, and then Ryan stuck down there. The laundry room where me and Ryan have all of our shoes assorted like that. Here I just kind of have all my laundry stuff assorted up there. So here is the guest bathroom. Here is something I got from my mom's house. She told me to put two towels and roll them up and I think it looks great. And then picture of the beach. Here's the shower. I love the shower curtain. I got it from Target. It's like really pretty. And then here is, you know, our sink, our table. And, and yeah, I have towels here that people can use. And then these are really cute soaps I got as a gift. And I just kind of threw them in there. And then here I have salt scrub. It's actually like a coconut scented scrub. And then you like after washing your hands, you just scrub your hands with this and then it becomes really, really soft, so. Lastly is my bedroom. So the bedroom is over here. This is me and Ryan's room. Um, here are two lamps I got from Target. That's from Home Goods. Um, I don't really like that, honestly, on top of my bed as much as I thought I would, so probably when we move, I'll just put it somewhere else in the house. Here is, it took me forever to find this headboard because I love the tufted style, but it was so hard to find one that wasn't like over $1,000. So I finally, finally found this one that was good quality um, from Wayfair for $200. I think it was 200 something dollars actually. And I love it, really good quality, really sturdy. So yeah, there's not really a point of decorating too much around it, just knowing I'm leaving soon. Like I don't have a mirror on top of it or plants next to it or any of that. But I did buy this pretty cheap from Target and I did have to assemble it myself, which I was not expecting, but it worked out great. So yeah, when you open the cabinets, there's like shelvings and then in the drawers, it's pretty spacious to put a lot of stuff in it. But yeah, that's my dresser. And then here is the view from my room. I have my two bikes and then here's more storage outside. But, and then here's also our lamp. I love the detailing on the lamp. I don't know if you can see it. And then I got this from Marwa's house. Marwa, she had a, like a launch party uh, in LA, so thank you Marwa for that. Here's a really cute like tissue box cover I've had since like Atlanta. My mom gave it to me. And then here's just kind of where I have some books and stuff, so. Yeah, that's my bedroom. Yeah, so that's my house tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you guys have any questions, please comment below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much and looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.